NBA players are usually very professional both on and off the court, but there are times when they let their emotions get the best of them. After all, athletes are people just like everyone else. They're only in the news because they compete every night in front of fans from all over the world. Because basketball is a global sport, the spotlight is often brighter on NBA players. A lot of the time, the league or the team will find a player to keep up a level of professionalism that is important for winning and for the team's culture. The NBA knows that every move a player makes makes the news, so controlling behavior is a big part of how the league is run. But we have seen players, coaches, and franchise leaders get fined for a variety of things that were funny or even silly. Here are the most stupid fines in NBA history. From the way he looks to what he says in interviews, Nikola Jokic is a funny guy. The Serbian center has a good understanding of English and usually knows what he's saying. The funniest thing happened when Jokic told the reporter in the locker room, no homo. He's, he's longer than you. After Denver beat Chicago in overtime at the United Center, the Superstar Center said these things. According to a press release from the NBA, Nikola Jokic was fined $25,000. The big man always says what's on his mind, even though he wasn't trying to be rude. It was unprofessional and cost him a lot of money that he could have used in a million better ways. Yeah. Okay, Jokey. Damn, Joker, that's what happened. You get 45, 27, and 10. Dennis Rodman probably got the fine that he deserved the most, but it probably didn't do much for him. The big man is thought to be the most strange NBA player ever because of how he dressed, acted, and looked different from everyone else. Boo. Damn, where'd you come from? I heard it made you disappear. I need merchandise. Sorry, I'm close for tonight. To be honest, it's likely that no other famous person was like the worm. But one of Rodman's worst moments came when he and Kevin Garnett were fighting over a rebound. Rodman fell to the ground, and it looked like he was mad at the cameraman because he kicked him in the groin. He comes up to the camera, steps on the camera, that's where he's upset. The NBA fined the worm $25,000 for his actions, which are not at all professional. It wouldn't end there though. Rodman would be accused of assault, and he would end up having to pay the cameraman $200,000 and miss 11 games. Okay, this one is worse if we think about what Dwight Howard's actions on the court for the Charlotte Hornets, which led to a $35,000 fine, really meant. The center has always been known to have fun and play around on the court, but when Dwight stuck his tongue out at the crowd during a game. It was a little too much. His goal was to get people to react, and he did just that from the NBA. Howard's actions are seen as sexual, even if the big man tries to say they have nothing to do with that. Still, the NBA fined the former All-Star a sum that most people would consider to be quite large. Dwight has had several max contracts over the course of his career, so the fine might have been worth it for the fun-loving athlete since Kevin Garnett's MVP season. And had it. They turned it over. Alley -oop back to Kevin. Oh, baby! Woo! KG! The Minnesota Timberwolves have had a hard time putting together a winning team. This could be because the team's ownership and leadership have been all over the place. David Kahn, who used to be the president of basketball operations for the Minnesota Timberwolves, was one of the things fans hated most about the team. Minnesota got Michael Beasley in the summer of 2010, and there was hope that the athletic forward could become the scoring machine he was supposed to be. Kahn said in a radio interview, where a lot of famous people get caught, that he knew about Beasley Beasley's past problems and lack of professionalism. The president of basketball operations said that he hoped Beasley would get his act together and that Beasley was just a very young and immature kid who smoked too much marijuana. Khan had high hopes for the number two pick in the 2008 draft, but the NBA wasn't gonna let that happen. They fined Khan $50,000 for his unprofessional comments. Moving on, this fine might be the funniest one on the list. Meme legend J.R. Smith has made a lot of stupid plays over the course of his career. Even though Smith was a good scorer who could get hot in a hurry, he was mostly known for acting in very strange ways. Hallelujah. 
as a player for the New York Knicks. Smith decided not to be very professional and kept untying other players' shoes to get an edge. We don't know how much of an advantage that gives, but it was funny to see Smith do it again after being told not to. And with Tyson Chandler out of the game, there's no reason to settle. Attack the rim. After the shooting guard wouldn't listen, the NBA stepped in and fined him $50,000 for his actions. Coach Mike Woodson wasn't happy, and he told his players. Woodson said, I've always said I don't condone things that I know you shouldn't do. No, this doesn't make me happy. He was told not to do it again, but when he does, it's not right. I just found out about it, and I'll talk to him about it on Thursday when he comes to work. It's unacceptable. Really, it is. It's not a good idea. I don't know what else to say. That's not allowed. You just cannot do it. He has to grow up at the end of the day. We have to stop doing these things. J.R. Smith is known for making mistakes on the court, but this find might be the funniest thing we've ever seen from a professional basketball player. Next up, even though this find is so silly, it's actually true. Before the 2007 All-Star Weekend, forward Vladimir Radmanovich thought he needed some time to enjoy snow sports. Before getting back to the season, the Lakers were trying to figure things out on the court, where Kobe Bryant, a once-in-a-generation player needed help from his teammates, but the forward chose to go snowboarding in Utah, which would cost him a fine of $500,000 if he was caught. Radmanovic hurt his shoulders, which will likely keep him out of action for the rest of the season. He first told the Lakers that he hurt himself when he slipped on ice, which kept the team from getting out of his contract. A few days later, the forward admitted that he had gone snowboarding against the team's wishes. He had to pay a fine of $500,000 which was about 10% of his annual salary. Lastly, Mark Cuban has been fined more than $2 million, and probably a lot more than that. He's the person who has been fined the most in NBA history. The billionaire owner isn't afraid to say what's on his mind. Yeah, it wasn't as good as we wanted it to be, but you know what? And let me also say, Mavs fans, amazing, amazing. You know, the MFFLs were really there, and, you know, people talk about the crowd here. Which is likely why his fans love him so much. Cuban has gotten a lot of funny fines, like yelling at referees and sitting on the floor by the bench. But his most famous one was when he told his own players to lose games to move up in the draft. The NBA clearly wants to encourage winning and players giving it their all. So Cuban's outspoken comments were not okay in the eyes of the league. In 2018, Cuban talked to Julia Serving on a podcast and basically said that losing on purpose was the best way to help the team in the future. He said, I probably shouldn't say this, but I just had dinner with a bunch of our guys the other night and we weren't even in the playoff race. I was like, look, losing is our best option. Cuban was right since the Mavericks had a record of 18 and 40, but he paid a huge price for it, a $600,000 fine that will hurt even the richest person. That's all for today. Comment below which fine surprised you the most. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.